better under uh, writing uh, skills okay the how to make our effect how to make our effective communication how to make our effective writing these are very important to find out okay on the basis of this we can uh, study we can grasp this type of interpersonal formation on the basis of second unit of our communications and communicative skills of the english third formation for is uh, uh, concerning to that it can be carried out okay and last one is called of functional english okay in the sections of it you can uh, study functional english in the functional english just we have to find out the functional uses of particular words functional use of particular uh, vocabularies of the english formation like that even today a lot of student all of you are getting easily or not if you are getting easily in english no problem at all if you are getting some confusion in english then i can go through the bilingual sometimes so that i can also make you understand on the basis of hindi and english whatever you want so all of the parents just tell me all of you are getting easily or not you can raise your hand if you want to ask any question raise your hands if you want to ask questions okay just tell me uh, just i have asked functional english sir What's you ha huh, just carry on babu sir good morning sir sir good you morning. can bilingual sometimes uh, i understand uh, your english language and but uh, at some times lack do i i want to understand but uh, uh, i cannot understand some some words some difficult words sir just like okay difficult word dear all now you all are working on the basis of communicative english now i'm uh, speaking slowly no problem at all okay on the basis of communicative english now we are uh, being a students of bca i can say i can say that slow yes. sir slow okay okay, okay okay no problem at all now, very fast okay okay i'm going through as smoothly no problem at all okay so on the basis of communicative dear all the experiences being business communications because after completion of your bca i think you will be an entrepreneur and you will start your business sometimes so that you have to go through the interview in different institutions different organization different companies factories okay it mean to say how we can make our effective english how we can make our effective communications being a good communicator being a good orator just we must have the grasping of synonyms antonyms mean to say different vocabularies have the similar meanings like if you are uh, talking on a topic and again and again now you are repeating a word this is not sufficient this is not inclusive of your communications it mean to say if you want to make your effective and impact on your communication just we have to go through different vocabularies like i'm talking about on the basis of increase like you can say in india indian economic growth is increasing and again just you have to say this sentence don't say increase because you have used increase at once so what the word must be used then you can say boost then you can say surge then you can say progress then you can say develop okay so these types of vocabularies like i'm talking about indian farmers even today we all are in 21st century indian farmers are suffering from different types of hardships in spite of government's proceedings of different schemes programs and different types of skill and development concerning to the modernization of agriculture fields in spite of it, they are suffering they are victimized okay again if you have to make comparison the farmers india from america china all about i'm talking so now in india we can say farmers cultivators agriculturist agrarian but when we want to uh, make a comparison with america's farmers then we can say the peasants of america peasants means in india we can say farmer if i'm talking about in russia their farmers are called kulak i think you must be aware of it kulak k u l a k kulak okay so different vocabularies hamare kya hoti hai we can make our effective communications okay 
in that suppose i am making understand one thing very important all of you are be aware now i am asking a question mai ek question puch raha hu like i can say my brother lives in abroad is this sentence right or wrong raise your hand my brother lives in abroad is it right or wrong yes yes sir uh, good morning sir good morning. Uh, sir you said sir uh, yes sir uh, you said sir uh, my brother lives in abroad abroad yes abroad yes, sir that uh, that sentence is correct sir i think this sentence is correct yes, any one of you <coughs> sir what you said sir i want to say something yes sir as you said that ki while using a word you can not be a right english communicative but mm -hmm. while using a one sentence you can mm -hmm. increase our word power sir mm -hmm. now i'm talking about effective english okay sir sir what you said about kulak sir uh, russian farmer called i'm not able to understand in, in, in the in russia sir what is effective kulak. english sir what do you mean by effective english effective english effective yes, english mean to say we have some parameters we have some uh, factors which must be uh, uh, we can say uh, decorate by different aspects of the mechanism of the communication this is why actually i asked one question my brother lives in abroad is it right or wrong of course right. right. no you no listen to me that. this question is this sentence is wrong why sir Be because before abroad never a preposition is used so we have to say my brother lives abroad don't say my brother lives in abroad if the abroad, sentence no, is sir my brother lives in patna then it is correct it is correct it is yes, correct sir, but abroad, we have some vocabularies having the specific uses like one example again i am making the stand like he entered into the room try to understand yeah the police the police investigated the case or one the police investigated into the case what do you mean by this there are two sentences there investigated into the case and the police investigated the case what the problem it mean to say dear all with investigate with inter we must not use preposition in and into because it has a similar meaning like he is waiting for you he is waiting for you or one is he is awaiting for you await is equal to wait for await is equal to wait for so we can't use await plus for it mean to say for is never used with await but wait always is used with for is it okay or not of course so sir but i have to yes yes carry on sir but you said that you can use the the abroad no preposition but you have to remember to where i use preposition yes this is called a specific uses okay, this is sir. called appropriate uses of preposition because whatever we are communicating whatever we are writing this is uh, this can't be considered to be called absolute english like in india in bihar whatever suppose that i'm uh, saying sir are you listening me sir are you listening me on the basis of phonetics it mean to say phonetics means the sound and symbol of our english communication it has been derived in different aspects because british english has been derived from three words there are three languages french greek and latin okay in okay. phonetics sound is different where we have to give the pitch where we have to go to asmu okay what is the sound of the particular words this we have to find out like uh, one example i am going to provide we are uh, going to celebrate his or her birthday in hotel hotel people can say hotel is it right so the basic pronunciation if you are talking so the basic pronunciation is so it is not correct this is not a hotel this is called hotel this is not sir 
This is called sir. This is not called father. This is called father, teacher, master. But what we write, we can go. These are the part whenever we are going through the uh, aspects of the foreign uh, parameters and factors. If I'm talking about the phonetics, I'm talking about utilizations of different vocabulary like. Uh, uh, having words have similar uh, pronunciation, but meaning are different. These are considered to be called homonyms. Okay, so by which we can make our effective chemical sense. Otherwise, yes, yes. You want to ask something, Mister? Uh, yes, carry on. Sir, my question was that you have told that someone lived in abroad. Hmm. This sentence is incorrect. But how can we uh, correct this sentence, sir? How can we correct the sentences? Just I'm going to uh, show on your board. Okay. Oh my God. I'm disabled. I can't uh, present you my white board. Okay. Listen. If I say he lives in a road. Do you want to share screen? Hello. Do you want to yes, share screen or something? Okay. 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 Thank you. Without a screen, actually, ma'am, teaching is not well. Yeah. Anna, listen, dear all. Each and every question just I'm going to proceed. Now, you guys practically learn. English means practical. English, English, practical. English is not tough. This is very easy. And we can make our effective communication within two months. Like that one example I'm going to provide you. Like that. He lives in abroad. One again question I'm going to provide you. He lives in foreign only two questions actually i have provided and just we have to find out which is right and which is wrong okay because now i have a screen or a screen pe aap log hum log bahut discuss lambe karne wale to listen all abroad <coughs> and foreign both have the similar meaning bidesh but dear all you must be known of it grammatically abroad is not preceded by a preposition so we have to omit preposition in we have to say he lives abroad abroad mean to say someone lives in other countries abroad is equal to lives in other country it mean to say like one example again i am making this case where is foreign he lives in foreign he lives in foreign my brother lives in foreign these are incorrect because foreign is not a word in english this is incomplete word we have to use after foreign either you have to say country either you have to say nation without this nation and uh, country if you are not preceded by foreign it means to say this sentence is considered to be incorrect again one example mai aap logo ko simple sa de raha hu aap log usko bataiyega very simple example i am going to provide you. okay like that <coughs> he likes he likes teaching line right on the shen uh majority of our students says this sentence okay he likes teaching line and people can say he is economic his economical condition condition is not good is not good dear all the parents just you have to tell me that which is right Which one is right? Which one is wrong? Just tell me. He likes teaching line, or his economical condition is not good. Sir, what do you want to say? His economical condition is not good. I think right, sir. No, sir. Yes. First thing. Ha, first. Is not good. Okay. Not then. How you can make our uh, sentence correct? A lot of our students. teacher people audience is teaching line is the best teaching line in the best mai sunte sunte khud pak gaya hu so try to understand teaching line is not word in english in place of teaching line we have to say teaching profession teaching profession we can say you are my family member this is why i am helping you assisting you hum log bolte hain कि आप मेरे फैमिली मेंबर हो इसलिए मैं आपको मदद कर रहा हूं राइट ऑन दैट फैमिली मेंबर इज नॉट वर्ड इन इंग्लिश सो दीस आर द पार्ट व्हेन एवर वी आर गोइंग थ्रू द अप्रोप्रिएट यूजेस ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर वर्ड वी कैन मेक आवर इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन 
तो जब हम एक रियल यूज सीखते हैं जब रियल उसका अप्रोप्रिएट फॉर्म सीखते हैं तब जाकर के हमारी कम्युनिकेशन जो होती है हमारी इंग्लिश जो होती है वो इफेक्टिव होती है हम लोग बोलते हैं ना सर यू आर माई फैमिली सर ही इज माई फैमिली में बोलते हैं या नहीं इज इट राइट और रॉन्ग तो ये जो हमने बोला भी आपको फैमिली मेंबर फैमिली मेंबर इज नॉट वर्ड इट इन प्लेस ऑफ इट जस्ट वी हैव टू से मेंबर ऑफ फैमिली मेंबर ऑफ फैमिली दिस इज करेक्ट वर्ड लाइक हिज इकोनॉमिकल कंडीशन इज नॉट वर्ड यू कैन से टू योर टीचर इन योर कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन सर माय डियर ही इज माय डियर फ्रेंड ही इज माय लवली फ्रेंड हिज इकोनॉमिकल कंडीशन इज नॉट वर्ड प्लीज रिलीफ Please discount in his fees. Different types of affairs can be mentioned there, right? Na, try to understand. One is economical, one is economic, one is monetary, and one is financial. What do you mean by all these vocabularies? Economical means to say one who spends, yeah, one who uh, uh, wastes, squanders money thriftily. it mean to say in the second form you can say this is called miser this is called miser yeah you can say one who spends little money economic this is related to the subject economy monetary related to money and financial if i'm talking about the financial condition of india it mean to say i'm talking about gdp i'm talking about monetary and the market i'm talking about science and tech agriculture per capita income health sector education sector, different aspects of the development of any country are considered under financial activities but people can say economical condition economical how we can make our effective communications this is the question so these are the parameters we never were going through the absolute uses then we can find out what is the specific uses is it okay लाइक वन थिंग आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू वन सिंपल से एग्जाम्पल जो बताएंगे उनको मैं टॉफी खिलाऊंगा दिस इज क्वेश्चन फॉर यू ऑल ऑल ऑफ यू आर रेडी ओके विथ ऑप्शन आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग यू सपोज दैट हमने कहा ही डील्स डॉट 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 मोबाइल शॉप मोबाइल शॉप ओके योर ऑप्शन इज इन बी विथ C out or D no, above. What must be used here? With, What must with, be used here? He with, deals sir, with, 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 with sir. With sir. How many people are in the favor of uh, deal with? Raise your hand, please. Majority of the students are in the favor of with. Dear guys, try to understand. all of you are requested to find out and you have to make your effective english by knowing some specific things like all vocabularies have deal and deal plus in deal plus with deal plus out or with deal above is not used and there are three formation deal in mean to say to trade to trade ya yeah, to do a business to do ya yeah, to start a business deal with mean to say to be have or deal out mean to say to distribute to distribute what he deals mobile shop it mean to say he does a business of mobile shop so here we have to use in not out all got it something you got a specific things aaj kuch aapne naya sikh rahe hain yes sir मैं आपको केवल आपकी जो यूनिट है सारे यूनिट मैं केवल टच कराऊंगा ओनली टच कराऊंगा हाउ वी कैन मेक आवर इंप्रेसिव इंग्लिश मेरा क्वेश्चन होता है कि हमारे बिहार के स्टूडेंट का इंप्रेसिव इंग्लिश होगा कैसे अच्छा बस हमारे उस पर काम होगा केवल प्रैक्टिकल डोंट गो थ्रू द रोट एन स्टडी रट रट के नहीं किया जा सकता लैंग्वेज को कभी भी रटा नहीं जा सकता सॉरी फॉर इट सेकेंड इंफॉर्मेशन एगेन आम प्रोवाइड यू क्वेश्चन ऑन द बेस ऑफ पेसिस एंड कॉम्प्रीहेंशन वहां से ही हम स्टार्ट कर लेते पहले सपोज एट यर ऑल One word actually I used while I started my lecture. Read between the line, है ना? Read between the line. What do you mean by this word? 
being a good communicator being a good listener because if you want to be a good communicator just you have to be a good listener aapko ek acha listener hona hoga tabhi aap ek acche communicator ek vakta ho sakte hain to read between the line mean to say to observe to find out the secret and hidden hidden meaning of that particular word aur these are mainly used in comprehension ye hamari comprehension mein hi sabse zyada milta hai and comprehension is the best by which we can develop our skill on the basis of find out the realistic meaning and the hidden meaning of that particular words whatever we have okay like one example i am going to provide aap log iska jawab denge fir main trophy dunga meri puri class trophy pe chalta hai lekin unfortunately koi trophy kha nahi pata hai dekhta hu kaun khata hai like humne kaha the indian constitution the indian constitution is black and white black and white and now you have to find out just you are going through the reading comprehension suppose that even today there is a dispute between uh, uh, among <coughs> the political parties in india to reform and to make an amendment in indian constitution something must be added in uh, preamble something added in fundamental rights fundamental duties so dear all the aspirant these types of sentence has been mentioned before you while you are going through the reading comprehension just you have to find out sir actually i while i was uh, reading the newspaper actually i found out oh, black and white actually i'm not getting about black and white aap log batao khud hi aap log batao what do you mean what is the meaning of black and white any one of you because reading comprehension boost your vocabulary is sense of reading sensitiveness yani how to comprehend how to comprehend and best very i think best way to develop your skills on the basis of current affairs also what is happening in the country over the country okay these are the four basic virtues basic profits advantage which can be gained while we are going through the reading comprehension rc so this is the question before you the indian constitution is black and white any one of you just tell me what is the meaning of black and white no one is ready to make me understand black and white black and white mean to say written yani indian constitution is written indian not don't say black means why black means the color white means the color aap ye samajh rahe honge <coughs> like someone says black and blue black and blue someone says you look try to understand you look uh, green today you look green today now अभी तक आपने जाना कि ब्लैक व्हाइट सेवन हमारे पास कलर्स होते हैं और एक कलर्स के बाद हमने इसको सेंटेंस एक व्यक्ति के लिए भी यूज किया जस्ट आई हैव यूज फॉर अ पर्सन दैट यू लुक ग्रीन टुडे आज तुम ग्रीन दिख रहे हो इट मीन टू से व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ग्रीन यस टेल मी व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ग्रीन साइन इन मी नो डियर ग्रीन मींस एंगर ओ ग्रीन रेज भी कर सकते हैं रेज ये रेज okay just you uh, very uh, impressive formations you gave me just i am going to make a question before you like apne raise kiya usi se koi question bana raha hu batai gaya <laughs> okay sir some students some students are dot 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 questions some students are dot dot questions number 1 r a i s i n g second r i s i n g okay just i hmm r i s i n g third a r i s i n g fourth r a z e the yeah, r a g e i n g fifth R A Z I N G. What word <coughs> must be put there by oh. which you can make your sentence correct? Four, four, sir. Rage. 
आर ए जी यानी इसको आप रखना चाहेंगे ना चलिए बाबू लोग आप लोग जो भी हैं पेरेंट्स प्लीज आप लोग अटेम्प्ट लो बिकॉज वन कोटेशन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड लर्न एज फुल स्पीक एज स्कॉलर सीखो मूर की तरफ किसी ने कहा यानी ऑप्शन थर्ड है ना क्वेश्चन एक बार आप फिर से समझेंगे सम स्टूडेंट्स आर सम स्टूडेंट्स आर क्वेश्चन सम स्टूडेंट्स आर क्वेश्चन डॉट डॉट क्वेश्चन वट मस्ट बी यूज तो हम नीचे से आते हैं देखो सारे वर्ड में क्या है आर ए जी आर ए जे सारे का प्रोनाउंसिएशन एक है तो याद रखना इफ आर सेंटेंस हैविंग या इफ डिफरेंट वर्ड्स हैविंग द प्रोनाउंसिएशन या आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट साउंड ओके तो वेन एव साउंड इज सिमिलर सारे का यदि साउंड सिमिलर होती है बट मीनिंग इज डिफरेंट ओके दीज आर कंसिडर्ड होमोनिम्स दीज आर कंसिडर्ड होमोनिम्स यानी जिसकी साउंड <coughs> जो होता है वो सिमिलर होता है बट मीनिंग जो होता है बाबू डिफरेंट होती है दीज आर कंसिडर्ड होमोनिम एंड एक्चुअली आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड दिस सेंटेंसेस ऑन द बेस ऑफ होमोनिम्स रेज Rise, 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 rise. Okay, all of you are rise, rise. You are confused. You are perplexed now. What the answer must be mentioned there? So the guys, class, you have to find out all the meaning. Okay. So you can see. This rise, R A Z, R A Z. It means to say collapse. It means to say <coughs> a squall. It means to say एंग Here's arise, a r i s. This arise mean to say awake. Awake. So utpan karna, utpan. Awake mean to say subah zara. Jagna, jagna. Okay. And this rise have two meanings. One rise means the sun rises in the east. Mean to say awake. Yeah, you can say ah uh, arise. Or second in economy, this mean to say like price rise. Like you can say. नेचुरल या पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट प्राइस राइज इट मीन टू से दिस मीन टू से बुस्ट दिस मीन टू से सर्ज दिस मीन टू से हाँ उछाल इन हिंदी वेरी गुड आप लोगों को सैल्यूट यार आपकी हिंदी बहुत अच्छी है एंड दिस इज द रॉयस आर ए आई एस आर ए आई एस दिस मीन टू से टू अपलिफ्ट क्वेरीज या यू कैन से इशू तो माइनस वाला सम स्टूडेंट्स कुछ स्टूडेंट क्वेश्चंस को क्या कर रहे हैं क्या कर रहे हैं उठा रहे हैं मतलब मुद्दा को उठा रहे हैं सो आंसर मस्ट बी फर्स्ट आंसर मस्ट बी राइजिंग लेकिन आज के हम बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट को देखते हैं क्या व्हाई आर यू राइजिंग टू व्हाई आर यू राइजिंग द क्वेश्चन टू माई टीचर वाई आर डिस्टर्बिंग द क्लास माई गॉड वॉट एवर यू आर सेंग यार बिकॉज Your, if I'm talking about the uh, making your impressive and effective communication, just we have to do all the activities, whatever I'm making this trend. So, ये हमें a specific user सीखना होगा. A specific, एक हम simple और एक example आपको देता हूँ. अभी भी आपने toffee नहीं खा पाया. Accepted ना? Of course, sir. Okay. So third questions पे देखता हूँ. Just you are going to take my toffee or not? Very simple question. Now I'm going to provide you. As easy as A B C. So be ready. <laughs> like he spends much time he spends much time to make discussion imagine someone says he spends much money much money how many are right how many are wrong Right, much money. My, it means mint money. Mint money. What you want to say? Mint money. Mint is a place where coin is produced, okay, sir. manufactured. Or mint is also in Hindi, pudina, table item. Okay. 
Okay. So li listen to all. One thing I'm going to make you understand. About try to understand. One is a spend. One is a waste. One is a squander. One is kill. You can say a spoil. You can say ruin. A specific use. Just we have to find out. A spend is mainly used in the general sense. General sense. Having no specific. If you are unable to find out the specific uses, you can go through that. But being a good communicator, just we have to change our vocabulary again and again. And having the similar meaning. हमने क्या बोला अच्छे इम्प्रेसिव राइटिंग अच्छे इम्प्रेसिव कम्युनिकेटर के लिए सबसे पहला हमारा चुनौती बनता है चैलेंज होता है कि हम उस सेंस को ही बार बार रखेंगे बट मीनिंग हमारा डिफरेंट होगा लेकिन सेंस डिफरेंट नहीं होना चाहिए वेस्ट इज ऑलवेज यूज फॉर टाइम यदि आप टाइम को किल कर रहे हो टाइम को बढ़ा यानी वेस्ट और किल बोथ आर यूज फॉर टाइम विच कांट बी रिकवर्ड जिसको हम कभी भी रिकवर नहीं कर सकते टाइम एंड टाइड वेट फॉर न 2021 अब नेवर कम अब वो कभी नहीं आने वाला है देन वी कैन से वेस्ट ऑफ ए किल बट स्क्वाडर इज मेनली यूज फॉर मनी फॉर कैश फॉर कैपिटल यदि आप पैसा ये सब खर्च करते हो कैश खर्च करते हो देन यू हैव टू से ही स्क्वाडर्स मनी डोंट सर सर को कैश पे एंड थ्रेप भी कर सकते हैं ना हां कर सकते हैं उसकी थोड़ा डिफरेंट होगा लोग इसको क्या बोलते हैं कैरियर बोलते हैं दिस इज नॉट कैरियर कैरियर इज ये आर आई आर सॉरी डबल आर आर इज दिस इज गोल्ड करियर okay this is called career this is called carrier this is life this is career both have different dono ka uses bhi different hai where we can use life where we can use career now you are enjoying your life because you are relying on your parents you are relying on your uh, family members okay but when i am talking about the career it mean to say now you are uh, studying you are doing your bca to stable yourself and after that you make your stability where you want to go okay it mean to say this is your career after getting your job your life will be very enjoyable and you can entertain you can enjoy your life differently okay this is called career so career is self dependent where is life is others dependent so now we all have mummy papa ka hotel abhi chal raha hai papa ka hotel mein bhi kha rahe ho hai na this is now you are enjoying your life लेकिन जब अपनी ही होटल शुरू हो जाएगी दिस इज करियर सो यू ऑल आर सेपिंग योर करियर अभी आप अपने करियर को बनाने में लगे हुए ऑल ऑफ यू आर गेटिंग सर तो दीज आर द फॉर्मेशन अभी आपने पूछा कि कैसे सर हमारी इफेक्टिव इंग्लिश क्या होती है आई थिंक अब आप लोगों को समझ में आ रही हो इफेक्टिव इंग्लिश हमारी कैसे होती है अफकोर्स सर तो दीज आर द वेज तो इसलिए हमने क्या बताया हमारे पास कुछ मेकेनिज्म है कुछ हमारे पास पेरामीटर्स है जिसके द्वारा हम अपने इंग्लिश को बहुत इंप्रेसिव बना सकते हैं सामने वाला सोचते रहेंगे हाँ कुछ हमारे पास बेरियस हैं उसे भी हमें तो उसमें बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस बेरियस और क्या क्या वे होने चाहिए वो सारे हम लोग स्टडी करेंगे ओके तो दीज आर ऑन द बेस ऑफ पेसिस इन कॉम्प्रीहेंशन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द फंक्शनल इंग्लिश एंड फंक्शनल ग्रामर दीज आर ऑल्सो पार्ट इन द फंक्शनल इंग्लिश एंड ग्रामर इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑन द बेस